What's up? It's your girl, Miss Naya Nicole, back with another interview, and I would like to introduce who you are. Carlito Black. Carlito Thank Black. You. How are you feeling today? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good as well. So how long have you been an artist for? Um, On a serious note, six years. On a serious note for six years. So what, what were you doing prior? You just rapping around with your yeah. friends? Yeah, just rapping around. So do you write your own music? I got to ask. Definitely. Everything I write. <laughs> <laughs> what inspires your lyrics? Just just life, which is um, mainly my life, but what's around me. And, and pretty much um, you could say things I would like in the future reference, things I would like to have or want to be a part of in the future. So you believe or in manifestation? Work. Yes, definitely. So you believe that you're using your music to manifest the life that you're trying to, that you envision and that you're trying to create? Absolutely. That's dope. That's dope. Are you spiritual? Very. Do you feel like your lyrics are divinely fed through you? Yes. Okay. When's your birthday? June 7th. Okay, because I had to ask if you was a Gemini because of your EP project. I'm a Gemini as well. <laughs> and my birthday is June 1st. So this is gems connecting. We're about to drop a lot of gems. <laughs> <laughs> but um, where are you from? I was I was born and partly raised in Newport News, Virginia, but then the rest of my upbringing came from Brooklyn, New York. Okay. So you've been doing music seriously for about six years. How does it feel when your lyrics are divine? It goes from thought to pen or however you write your music. And then you're in the studio booth to now people listening to it and then it's being reviewed. Um, how does that, what is that feeling of watching it, the whole process of it being manifested basically into this dimension? Um, it's a, To me, it's a blessing. It's just a, it's a major blessing in my eyes because to, come from where I come from and go through what I go through just to hear like come from all the doubt and the negativity of me telling myself I was going to do this and me actually standing on what I wanted to do and what I believe in and actually putting everything into the works and just seeing everything like flourish and happen the way it's happening is definitely a blessing. Yeah, and that was actually something I was going to ask you about, too, because you have a Instagram caption and it quotes, everything I speak on, I stand on. Not too many can say that. My success has exposed so many people that I thought was with me, end quote. So I was going to ask you, how are you able to continue to push yourself on a daily after you see the grind and the, the hard work flourishing? How what 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 is that thing that keeps you going? And also, how do you navigate with the exposure of people's true energy, their true colors while you're finding your successes and flourishing? Um, not like with, with my music in general, it's more of a life thing. I, it's, it's my life. Music is like my therapy, my life and everything like that. So the push comes from within, to be honest. Like I know what I want to do and I know what I came here to do. So I have to have an understanding that everyone's not meant to go with you to the level that you're trying to achieve. So I, I block the negative and whatever energies out of my life and I, and I keep pushing forward because at the end of the day, it is people, including my, my kids, that look at me like motivation and inspiration. So... I see that in myself. So I'm like, I'm, I can't let nothing stop what I'm doing or what I feel my purpose is with my music. How many kids do you have? I got three. Shelter names out. Um, I got a daughter and two sons. So shout out to Zaza, my oldest son, King, my baby boy, and my daughter, my mama. Now, I definitely... um respect and um comprehend exactly what you're saying i also have a son myself um so it's just it's just more it's external as well just 
knowing that I'm a vessel um, for the most high and you utilizing my gifts, my artistry in order to continue the fight within the mission is the overall point of why we're here visiting um, Earth. Okay. And I'll say, so do you feel like your music is a way that you can outlet to help create just positive energy within the world? Um, The, the crazy thing is some might consider something things I rap about negative, but it's not really negative. It's just exposing the reality that right. overlooked that's in a certain sense glorified. So my point is to going through certain things, I can tell you the consequences and I can tell you like it's not the route you want to take. So I then inspired a lot of people. So I can honestly say what people consider negative has been a positive because I talk about a lot of things. I talk about my past in the streets. I talk about my mental health. And I have received feedback from people that say thank you for putting that out there to let me know I'm not alone in the way I feel. And so I know it's, it's a powerful purpose behind what I'm doing. Do you feel like it's a major sacrifice to put yourself out there, though, in order to um, be the, the role model in a sense? Do you consider yourself a role model? At this point, back back in the past, no, nah, I wouldn't have considered. But now, definitely, because it's even though I'm like I'm not exactly where I want to be, but I know I'm working towards it. Right. That's better than just sitting back and just saying, "Uh, I, it'll happen if it happened." Like I'm actually working towards where I want to be in my life, and I'm not a lot of things that I used to be involved when I have separated from. So. I can make myself that role model and that inspiration I need to be. Because I wouldn't call myself a role model doing things, being a hypocrite, like speaking on certain things, but I'm still doing it. That wouldn't make sense to me. Right. So also on your Instagram, I've um, noticed on the captions that you had two options to name your EP. It was either Emotions of a Gemini or Real Trench Baby. So what was the deciding decision that you decided, okay, I'm going to use Emotions of a Gemini? Um, the other, no, the, I went, it's actually two separate EPs, the, oh, okay. real, trench, the, the real trench baby one that's dropping later, but I it was just a decision on which one I was going to drop first. And this one I feel like was like more needed. Oh, during this I time. I feel like music like this ain't even like the music that I put on this is like, it's out there, but it's really not like out there as much as it used to be so I feel like I kind of like change the dynamic and, and put something different out. Yeah, it definitely sounds like a journey through leaving a toxic relationship and then finding yourself and then allowing somebody else to step in and to be loved at the end of your of your EP. So the first song is You Lie. You lie when you said the feelings were true That's why I'm no longer dealing with you when you said the feelings was true That's why I'm no longer dealing with you Even when I knew better I still tried to build with you You did a lot of fake stuff But I still kept it real with you Appreciate and One of your lyrics is You lie when you said the feelings were true That's why I'm no longer dealing with you So are you writing from experience That you, that you no, had? Definitely. <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> from experience It's definitely from experience Um I would say when it comes to a lot of relationships, I was a nurturer and a lot of people would kind of like look at me like, oh, he's just, he's the guy. He's, he looks kind of intimidating. Like, but in relationships, I'm like, I'm somewhat of a, a teddy bear. So yeah, I, I let a lot of things like pass. I'm not going to say I'm perfect because I have my force also. Mm -hmm. That's like, that's kind of something I stand on. I'm not going to, Paint a picture like I'm some person. I do have my own force, but I am a nurturer and I do tend to like take responsibility for things. It's not my fault. Right. Just to avoid conflict and confrontation and all that stuff like that. But then it just came to a breaking point. Like 
All right, yeah. this is this is not benefit me at all. <laughs> yeah. And I as a Gemini, a fellow Gemini, that definitely relates. And I will always refer to myself as a bear. And I will be the one being poked. And as soon as the bear rolls, now all of a sudden sudden I'm the one in fault. But nobody yeah. ever notices when they <laughs> poke the bear. And it's like you get okay. called crazy. Yeah. Get so crazy. Mm -hmm. so I always use that analogy once somebody keeps poking me, like, listen, you're poking me right now. <laughs> <laughs> so let's calm <laughs> down because we got to warn because it's like a lot i feel like as a gemini we observe everything i notice everything to the smallest like details to the point where i can't even relate that back to you because it's going to make me look like i'm bugging out you know what i'm saying but i just keep I, it I documented. Do same, i do the same thing it's like i do that also but it's just like people look at like it's like i could say something but then i already know like a lot of people don't like to handle the truth they don't they, like being confronted mm -hmm. yeah then they want to oh you're crazy or and i ain't yeah, got like, oh, exactly. see, <laughs> i get i start to get irritated and frustrated <laughs> and then i'm like let me just step because if, if i don't right fall back step i'm going i'm gonna I'm lose it and i'm like right. I, ain't, I ain't got time for that right do you come up with different scenarios in your head of possible um, outcomes yeah, <laughs> I come out with but I, I do it to like I do it to a sense like I look at everything like I see how like I pay attention like I feel like people look at Gemini's and be like they so unreadable and now I'm not gonna say all oh, but they certain Gemini's you can't read their expression you can't read what they about to say you don't know what's going on but me I'll just like literally. As if I'm telling somebody something, as I'm telling them something I, or confronting them about something, I'll be watching them the whole time as I'm talking, just paying attention to their movements, their actions, right. their facial expressions and everything. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, this is about to this is about to go a whole different mm -hmm. route. Right. Well, speaking of all this stuff that be going on in your mind, you have a next song called Be On Your Mind. Cause you know you keep it true. You a queen, how you let a joker play you like a fool. You feel for me and feel for do. So you stop between the two. You tired and broke down, so it's hard to make a move. You're giving a chance to snow for a fact, I can fix that. Heart might be broken, but it's something I can build back. You feel alone, even though with him is where you live at. Play my position, even though and I... One of the lyrics is, heart might broken, but something I can build back. Um, is it hard to be the nice man after a woman has dealt with a broken relationship? Um, the nice man right after that relationship. Absolutely. I feel like I feel like that's um on both sides. Cause you is it's the damage that they already got went through. And it's like a majority of the world, they look at it like this. Oh, I've been through this. I've been through that. And they don't know how to clear a path for someone else. I'm not saying you're supposed to forget the hurt you went through, but at least give somebody a fair chance if you're going to step into the situation again. Because mm -hmm. if you if you come into us, if you're get, saying you're giving somebody a chance, but you're harboring a bunch of hate and resentment for someone else, then things is going to go left. Because... Mm -hmm. A small thing can turn into something major because you're holding on to what somebody else did. Right. Not creating a pathway to this, have love being, you know, received and also you re I'm giving out the love is another way to remove those blockages. But yeah, that's that's a great answer. Your next song is Lay Me Down featuring Faith Songbird. Hi. It's the things you do to me I want you inside me I want you beside me It's the things you do to me How would you feel if I told you, baby, let me down? How did that song come about? Um, That was my manager. Um, He had met up with this producer guy he heard the beat and when he heard the beat he like reached out to a friend of his that that sung because he was like yeah you need that in their catalog you're doing a, a a track with a chick on it so he told me the concept after he reached out to her she was with it i heard the hook she had for it i heard the beat i'm like 
God, I could work with this. So uh, she wrote hers. I wrote mine. We hit the studio in Brooklyn. And we, we made it happen. You have a picture on your Instagram on FaceTime with your daughter and your manager. When did you feel like it was time or it was a need for you to get a manager for? And I'm asking this for you to give advice to to uprising artists as well. Um, it's when whenever you get into this this business in general, you got to have somebody at least have somebody you can trust is trustworthy. I ain't saying like you got to be cautious on who you choose as your manager also, but I feel like that's needed because bef- like I was doing a lot by myself and you see how difficult it is and how screening it is on yourself when when you, you trying to be the artist and you trying to be your own manager. It's, it's very difficult. I don't care what nobody says. It's difficult. So I feel like when you're you're telling yourself you want to make this career make this a career, I feel like you got to have a manager, somebody that's going to have your back, somebody that's going to do what they need to do so you can do what you're able to do. Someone that's going to keep you booked. Someone that's going to get you the interview, the shows and everything like that while you're working on your art. Right. It's definitely um, a different job, different hats to wear. If you're going to be managing yourself, you you also be stepping to the artistry part of an aspect and that just consumes your whole time because you will want to focus on your talent. Definitely comprehend that. And you have another song called Feel This Way. I usually don't even do the relationship thing with you. It's just something about you. You're now listening to you made me want to do it. I can't even front. I'm loving the feeling. So you know you can say you inspired this. Tried to not, but you the one for me. The only woman that I want in my company. Make me feel love again is what you done for me. I got your back for life, you ain't got a front on me. When you feeling spicy, you can show that front to me. On sight, anyway is what it's gonna be. Your vibe alone makes you more than enough for me. Far from a bird, I ain't worried about you. Just talking in the beginning of it, that saying, I usually don't do the relationship thing, but something about you made me want to do it. Loving the feeling. And then you also have a lyric stating, made me fall in love again is what done for me. So... Do you get nervous from a male perspective to allow yourself to be vulnerable with new energy? Um, after after some some wicked relationships, yeah, it, it just life in general made me kind of vulnerable into like opening up and everything like that. Even so now I'm still the same way, but I kind of like I'm better than what I used to be because in general I wasn't I wasn't with it. But mm-hmm. I felt like I had a lot of fixing and, and mending to do to myself to like mentally prepare me to be in a situation with with someone else. Cause it's like it's always gonna be a risk and a gamble when you hop into a relationship with somebody. Mm-hmm. But it's like I'd rather be in a space in my head that some find that no matter what happens, I'll be good after the fact. And it took a lot of uh, growth and everything like that. And what did that healing look like? What was the process like to heal yourself to get to that point to allow somebody else? Oh, I'm still, I'm still working on it. I'm still working on it. Um, when I wrote, when I second, when I wrote that song, that was more of a place what I would like to see for myself in the future. Do I do I believe that I could be in a relationship again? I absolutely do. I feel like I could do that again, absolutely. But it's not something I'm rushing because I hear too many people talk about finding love and everything like that. I'm not I'm not with the finding thing. I feel like if it's meant to be, things will happen and everything will fall into place. Right. I don't like I I don't want to look for anything like that. I I rather it come to me so I can know it was natural because I feel like when you look for love, you forcing it. Right, right. Feeling for something that's not meant necessarily for you. Just trying to, just being distracted, walking off path. Your next song is "I'm a Freak." Yeah, we're bringing a whole different type of energy around this time around. Carlito Black, Black, let go, let go, let's go. 
She said I'm a freak. I smiled on her face, said yeah, me too. With no clothes on and that cake up is how I wanna see you. If you shower right in the kitty tight, yeah, I'm gonna eat you. You'll be slumped in the bed, knocked out from the way that I beat you. She said I'm a freak. I smiled on her face, said yeah, me too. With no clothes on and that cake up is how I wanna see you. If you shower right in the kitty tight, yeah, I'm gonna eat you. You'll be slumped in the bed, knocked out from the way that I beat you. You said you a freak, so. Of course, she said I'm a freak. I smiled on her face and said, yeah, me too. <laughs> you was really <laughs> this song right here we was really in your bag this is the point where i felt like okay you let go you released i found somebody to vibe out with let loose with um that's i just with the emotions of a gemini i just put the emotions of a gemini the good the bad the every like everything the excitement is just like when dealing with a true Gemini that's in tune with themselves, you like that whole EP, you just like literally get everything about a Gemini. You get the good, the happy, the 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 charismatic, the the energy, the the excitement. You get all that when you mess with because it's not all Gemini. You got it. It's it's the good. You gotta you gotta make sure you get a good one. <laughs> I feel like we do have bad reps. Every time I tell somebody I'm a Gemini, like, oh my goodness, oh, oh my goodness, not a Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> so when are you releasing the next project? Um, the plan is to drop the next one March 10th, and that's will be the real trench baby one. And how many songs is on that one? Um, it'll be five too. Okay. Is there anything else you have in the works that you would like to share? Um, I'm working on my album, Carlito's Day, and I plan on dropping that on my birthday. So I'm 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 like I'm gonna take it it up a level with that one. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna be working on that very soon, so I can release that on my birthday. And where can we find you on social media? Um. On Facebook, Carlito Ray Hefe Black. On Instagram, I'm the real Carlito Black. On Twitter, BL Carlito. On Snapchat, Lito Boss Black. TikTok, I think it's the real, real Carlito Black. Um, and that's that's about it. I'm I'm still like trying to, um get into the everything included it that's that's a crazy thing because i'm more of a groundwork type person i like to do the the interactions in person social media is like kind of <laughs> I, I think i'm still getting used to it and everything to come with it right it's a whole world in itself <laughs> the metaverse in itself but i appreciate you being a part of the miss naya nicole show thank you so much for your time Appreciate you too. Appreciate you for the opportunity. Thank you. Stay blessed. You too.